We'll uh, we'll wrap up the pay per view talk with this last point. Melter says, by the way, you want to know why they're kind of moving towards more pay per view model? Obviously, it's making more money. But Hogan, he earned four point four six million dollars alone in ninety five from pay per view. So, wow, kind of a nice payday for him. Uh, but again, in, in today's society, I think fans are willing to pay for it if it's quality content. If it's a can't miss, hell of a hell of a show type deal, then we're going to pay for it. And um, so, if there's an increase. So be it. But as hardcore wrestling fans, uh, we're all in if the product delivers. Uh, so let's move on. Let's talk about Super Brawl 1995. Um, as we, I mentioned earlier, on you're not on the show. So you wrestled the night before uh, with Johnny B. Bad. But uh, this, share, this show is on pay-per-view, and it's in Baltimore, Maryland, home of Jimmy's Famous Seafood. It's at the Baltimore Arena. <laughs> That's right. I know I'd get you excited there. <laughs> they showed up for this one. 13,390 fans in attendance. 10,000 of them paid for it. And uh, they had a gate of $165,000. Fans of The Observer were not fans of the show, Arn, as only 12% gave the show a thumbs up. 73% Gave it a thumbs down. So you're ready to hear what this card had to offer that night? Let me see why they might have done that. All Run right. Runner down. Here we go. We got Paul Roma and Alex Wright. This one opened the pay-per-view and went over 13 minutes. Wright controls a lot of the match. And the finish takes place when Roma and his partner Orndorff are arguing uh, right drops kicks uh, Roma into Orndorff and rolled up Roma for the win. And controversially, however, Roma does kick out of the pinfall, but they still count the three. And he's fired less than a month later for refusal to put Alex right over. You ever remember? Oh, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Paul, not a fan of Alex Das Wonder Kid, right? Oh, well, I see. Uh, I, I was probably so far away from that at that time it, i just didn't notice yeah i mean well you were this is where you're starting to work for the office a little bit more so i didn't know if you had a recollection of that at all but man this was uh this is not a good move when you're trying to maintain a job with wcw at the time i, I don't understand why someone would risk losing a job by refusing to do to do business especially if you spend a lot of time at the competitors and not necessarily going to get a job going back there oh bingo yeah that not it, not smart do not ever ever risk your career on the outcome of a match it's so foolish because the next day you just it's never as big as you seem to think it is when you don't want to do something business wise 